Once she was the most powerful woman in British newspapers with links to successive prime ministers. From today, Rebecca Brooks is one of the leading figures in this criminal trial, facing charges with her, her husband, Charlie Brooks. Also in the dock, Andy Coulson, the ex-editor of the News of the World, he later moved into government when David Cameron made him his director of communications. He used to go through the door of 10 Downing Street. Now he'll become familiar with the front entrance of the Central Criminal Court. So the Old Bailey, the scene of so many legal dramas down the years, is the setting for a case which is set to make global headlines. Two years after the hacking affair blew up, this is the media reporting on their own. It was the hacking of a phone belonging to the missing teenager Millie Dowler, later found murdered, which became the tipping point in this controversy. Within days, Rupert Murdoch announced the closure of the News of the World. Staff on one of the country's most established titles left the building for the last time after finishing the final edition. Meanwhile, the police investigation went right to the top of the Murdoch empire. Rebecca Brooks is now on trial for conspiracy to intercept mobile phone messages, that's phone hacking, conspiracy to commit misconduct in public office, the allegation here is unlawful payments to public officials, and conspiring to pervert the course of justice. This is about allegedly removing and concealing evidence. Andy Coulson is facing two charges. He's accused of conspiring to intercept mobile phone messages and conspiracy to commit misconduct in public office. They are among eight people on trial. Apart from Rebecca Brooks' husband, all are current or former News International employees. All the defendants deny all the charges against them. They left court this evening, having seen the start of the jury selection process. Potential jurors have been told the trial could run until Easter. The jury will be sworn in tomorrow, and then the prosecution is due to open its case. June Kelly, BBC News at the Old Bailey.